Hey, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's reading area. S yeah, Alexa. What time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8 p.m., you guys. Thanks for being here. Shout out to my grandmother. I mean, hoo, hoo, hoo. Shout out to my grandbabies. Yeah, I'm going to shout out my grandmother, too. She must be thinking of me. May she rest in peace. We are, everybody calls her mother, so shout out to you, mother. That must mean she is watching over me, right? Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David III, and Kaden. I love you guys. I miss you guys. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Well, all right, all right, all right. Today's Wednesday. What books do I read on Wednesdays? That's right. Multicultural book. So it's Multicultural Wednesdays. I am going to read to you Strega Nona. Strega Nona. But please, first, click like that button right there. Yeah, click it. I'll wait. Then go on over here and click, yes, share, and then post. Boop. Share, post. Then go to YouTube, right? Look for Audrey's reading area. Yeah, and smash that subscribe button for me. All right, all right, all right, you guys. Now I'm going to jump into this book, Strega Nona. An original tale written by, written and illustrated by uh, Tommy da, De Paola. Tommy De Paola. All right. So I know you want me to just jump right into this book because... It looks interesting, right? Yeah, so we're going to see what happens in these people's culture. Um, Strega Nona means Grandma Witch. Do you see? Grandma Witch is the source for potions, curses, magic, and comfort in her Cal Calabrian town. Her magical ever full pasta pot pasta pot <laughs> pasta pot is especially intriguing to hungry big anthony he is supposed to look after her house and tend her garden but one day when she goes over the mountain to vi visit strega amelia big anthony recites the magic verse over the pasta pot with disastrous results in the retelling of an old tale, author, illustrator, Tommy De Paola, whose middle name is Anthony, of course, combines humor in the writing and warmth in the, in the paintings as he builds the story to its hilarious climax. Yes, Strega Nona, or Grandma Witch. Mm. We're gonna jump right in now, read this book. Strega Nona. So, in a town in Calabria, a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Strega Nona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although the people in town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her if they had troubles. Go figure, right? Even the priest and the sisters of the convent went because Strega Nona did have a magic touch. Mm -hmm. She could cure a headache with oil and water and a hairpin. She made special potions for the girls who wanted husbands. And she was very good at getting rid of warts <laughs> but Strega Nona was getting old and she needed someone to help her keep her little house and garden so she put up a sign in the town square she put up a sign and big Anthony who didn't pay attention went to see her Anthony said Strega Nona you must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must weed the garden and pick the vegetables. 
You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fetch the water. For this, I will give you three coins and a place to sleep and food to eat. Oh, Gracie, said Big Anthony. The one thing you must never do, said Streganona, is touch the pasta pot. It is very valuable and I don't let anyone touch it. Oh, see, yes, said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. Big Anthony did his work and Streganona met with people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and warts. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to the goat shed and he had food to eat. One evening when Big Anthony was milking the goat, he heard Streganona singing. Peeking in the window, he saw Streganona standing over the pasta pot. The pasta pot, right here. She sang, bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup, boil enough pasta and fill me up. And the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled and steaming, filled with steaming hot pasta. Whoa. Then Streganona sang, enough, enough pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. How wonderful, said Big Anthony. That's the magic pot for sure. And Streganona called Big, Big Anthony in for supper, but too bad for Big Anthony because he didn't get to see Streganona blow three kisses to the magic pasta pot. She blew three kisses, mwah, 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 to the magic pasta pot. And this is what happened. The next day when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot. And naturally everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly, a pot that cooked all by itself. You'd better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony, they said. Such a lie. And Big Anthony was angry and that wasn't a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Someday I will get the pasta pot and make it cook and then they'll be sorry. That day came sooner than even Big Anthony would have thought because two days later, Strega Nona said to Big Anthony, Anthony, I must go over the mountain to the next town to see my friend, um, Strega Amelia. Sweep the house and weed the garden, feed the goat and milk her for your lunch. And there are some bread and cheese in the cupboard. And remember, don't touch the pasta pot. Oh, yes, yes. Strega Nona said Big Anthony, but inside he was thinking, my chance has come. My chance has come. Can you see the pictures here? As soon as Streganona was out of sight, Big Anthony went inside, pulled the pasta pot off the shelves, and put it on the floor. Now, let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And Big Anthony sang, bubble, bubble, pasta pot. Boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough to fill me up. And sure enough, the pot bubbled and boiled and began to fill up with pasta. Aha, said Big Anthony. And he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain and shouted, everyone get forks and plates and platters and bowls, pasta for all at Strega Nona's house. Big Anthony has made the magic pasta pot work. Of course, everyone laughed, but ran home to get forks and plates and platters and bowls. And sure enough, when they got to Streganona's, the pasta pot was so full, it was beginning to overflow. Mm -mm. The 
Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped out pasta and filled the plates and platters and bowls. There was more than enough for all the townspeople, including the priest and the sisters from the convent. And some people came back for two and three helpings, but the pot was never empty. Now, let me just say, that reminds me of my grandmother, call her grandma, on my father's side. Yes, everyone came to eat at her house. And that pot, that, the, the pot was never empty. I never saw it empty. She never ran out of food. So that's what this just reminded me of. And that is 100% true. True story. Don't know how she did it. When all had their fill, Big Anthony sang, Enough, enough, my pasta pot. I have my pasta nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. But alas, he did not blow the three kisses. He went outside to the ap applause of the crowd. Big Anthony took a bow. He was so busy listening to compliments from everyone that he did not notice the pasta pot was still bubbling and boiling until a sister from the convent said, oh, Big Anthony, look. And pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor of the Strega Nona's house and was coming out the door. Look at that, coming out the door. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept bubbling. He took the pot off the floor, but pasta kept pouring from it. Big Anthony grabbed the cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But the pasta raised the cover and Big Anthony as well and spilled out on the floor of Strega Nona's house. Wow. It's a lot of pasta. Stop, yelled Big Anthony. But the pasta did not stop. And if someone hadn't grabbed poor Big Anthony, the pasta would have covered him up. The pasta had all but filled the little house. Out of the windows and through the doors came the pasta and the pot kept right on bubbling. The townspeople began to worry. Do something, Big Anthony, they shouted. Big Anthony sang the magic song again, but without the three kisses, it did no good. By this time, the pasta was on its way down the road and all the people were running to keep ahead of it. We must protect our town from the pasta, shouted the mayor. Get mattresses, tables, doors, anything to make a barricade. But even that didn't work. The pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept coming. Ooh, child. It's not even like it's fruits. It's like pasta, carbs, right? It must have tasted good, though, because they were all eating it. We are lost, said the people, and the priests and the sisters of the convent began praying. The pasta will cover our town, they cried. I guess they couldn't eat it fast enough. And it certainly would have had Strega Nona not come down the road home from her visit. She didn't have to look twice to know what happened. She knew what happened. She sang the magic song and blew three kisses, and with a sputter, the pot stopped. Boiling, the, it stopped boiling, and the pasta came to a halt. It stopped. Oh, crazy, thank you, thank you, Strega Nona, the people cried. But then they turned on poor Big Anthony. String him up, the man of the town shouted. They said, string him up. Now wait, said Strega Nona. The punishment must fit the crime. And she took a fork from a lady standing nearby and held it out to Big Anthony. All right, Anthony. 
You wanted pasta from my magic pasta pot, Stregonona said, and I want to sleep in my little bed tonight, so start eating. Ooh, ooh. She said he's got to start eating this stuff. And he did. Poor Big Anthony. <laughs> Whoa. The end. The end. <laughs> oh, what a funny book. Straganona. Straganona. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me read, being here and listening. Yes, yes. Don't forget to click like and click share and go to YouTube. Look for Audrey's reading area. Mm -hmm. That's me. Yes. Yes. All right, all right, all right. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I just want to thank everyone for being here and listening to me read fun and exciting books like Strega Nona. Multicultural too. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So thank you and... I'll see you again tomorrow, right? Live, L-I-V-E, live at eight, right? Live at eight tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area. Shout out to all of you who share my videos. Shout out to all of you who go to YouTube and smash that subscribe button. Audrey's Reading Area. All right, see you tomorrow.